Hello everyone. Today I thought we could do a little bit of book shopping. You guys seem to really like this last time. I want to go and see what is new out there in the world of publishing that I can buy. Let's get into it. creeping closer to 15,000 subscribers on this channel. And I am doing a $150 Amazon gift card giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber, leave a comment on this video and like this video. Stick around until the end of this video and I'm going to get into more detail about the giveaway itself and how you can win. So we are going to head over to Indigo yet again. Indigo is Canada's like little bookstore. It's actually a pretty big book company. And I'm gonna see what is new in the world of publishing and hopefully buy a book. I'm reading the book that I bought last time, so this is good. There's nothing better than just buying a book. Let us go into new this week. I actually have no idea what's out right now, so this is good. Okay, we've got Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. I think that is like YA, and I'm not overly a YA fan. What is Chris Whitaker's We Begin at the End? <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so We Begin at the End is about two families, the ones we're born in and the ones that we create. Um, Walk has never left the coastal town he grew up in. He may become the chief of police, but he's still trying to heal the old wounds. Um, and now his best friend who was in prison is going to be released. I don't know if this is really of interest to me, if I'm being honest. So I'm just going to go back and see what else there is. You know? Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Becoming by Michelle Obama has been created for young readers. That's a good idea. Okay, let's go into fiction. Here we go. Okay, we've got Sparks Like Stars. I've heard that this is a sequel, I think, so I'm not overly interested. Ooh, Clara and the Sun. This one I am interested in. I'm gonna just click on that. Clara and the Sun is a book that I have been curious about because Yuo Ishiguro wrote um, Never Let Me Go and I loved that, that, that book so, so much. Okay, so Clara and the Sun is about an artificial friend with outstanding observational qualities and she watches carefully the behavior of those who come in to browse and of those who pass on the street. She remains hopeful as a customer, that a customer will choose her soon. Uh, but she's warned not to invest too much in the promises of humans. This sounds really, really interesting. I am going to add it to my cart because that one sounds really good. Also hardcover for $25 is decent, at least here in Canada. Okay, so later, I gotta be honest, this is the new Stephen King. I just finished reading Misery by Stephen King. I'm not really in a Stephen King mood, but so many people are going to be all over this book. First of all, this cover is very interesting. It's got like a 70s vibe, 60s vibe. Um, sometimes growing up means facing your demons. And it follows a young boy named Jamie, who's not an ordinary child. Born with an unnatural ability, his mom urges to keep him secret. Um, he can see and learn what no one else can. I think he's trying to find a killer or something like that. I don't know if I'm in the mood for Stephen King though, but I know a lot of you guys would be very happy about that. Okay, so we already saw we begin at the end. Eden Robinson, Return of the Trickster. I don't know. Ooh, so Every Last Fear, I have that. I really want to 
read that soon because it's meant to be so good. Really good thriller. <clears throat> I've heard a lot about this, The Lost Apoth Apothecary, but I have never like even read the back of it. So I'm kind of curious about that. Sarah Penner. Ooh, okay. A Forgotten History. A Secret of Network of Women. A Legacy of Poison and Revenge. Hidden in the Depths of 18th Century London. A Secret Apothecary Shop Caters to an Unusual Kind of Clientele. Women across the city whisper of a mysterious figure named Nella who sells well-disguised poisons to use against oppressive men in their lives. That is neat. But it's jeopardized when their newest patron, um, I think, makes a fatal mistake. Interesting. I kind of like the premise of that, but I don't know if I'm like really really wanting to read it okay Daniel Steele I'm not a I've never tried her I will say that I've never read Daniel Steele but I don't really want to if I'm being completely honest with you um speak silence what is that about I've never even heard of this book Speak Silence, the author of The Disappeared. I really love this cover. That's beautiful. Uh, ooh. This is a Canadian book. It's been 11 years since Gota has seen Cosmos, yet she is, finds herself fantasizing about the intimate year together in Paris. Now it's 1999, and working as a journalist, she hears about a film festival in Saravaggio, where she knows Cosmos will be with his theater company. When they're reunited, she finds a man and a cult country altered beyond recognition. Oh, that sounds kind of like a, a bit of a romance book. Now you guys know me. No heart. Not not even a little bit of one. So that's not a good work for me, I don't think. <laughs> oh, man. That's so sad. Okay, what is this Band of Sisters? Someone recently was saying that this was like their most anticipated book of the year. <clears throat> band of sisters the women of smith college go to war okay a scholarship girl from brooklyn kate moran thought she found a place among smith's mayflower descendants only to give have her illusions dashed the summer after graduation um oh so it looks like they end up becoming volunteers to help French civilians decimated by the German war machine and she goes so that is a World War II historical fiction book I don't know if I'm like really blown away by that by that premise but I can see how a lot of people would be excited about that one Half-Life hmm in the quick what is this this is interesting this looks like a lot of fun oh my goodness okay june is a brilliant but difficult girl with a gift for mechanical invention who leaves home to begin grueling astronaut training at the national space program younger by two years than her classmates the school and camp is named for her uncle. She flourishes in her classes, but struggles to make friends. Six years later, she has gained a coveted post as an engineer on a space station, but is haunted by the mystery of inquiry of revolutionary spacecraft powered by her beloved late uncle's fuel cells. Um, the spacecraft went missing when June was 12 years old and they seem to have forgotten the crew so she seeks out her uncle oh no her her uncle's former prodigy who has been trying to discover why inquiry inquiries fuel cells failed oh that sounds interesting so that's like a bit of a mystery i'm going to add that to my cart that sounds really really neat i also love the cover of that that is a cool cover 
Okay, let's go back and see what else is new this week. I love doing this because like I, I would consider myself pretty on the ball for finding what's new at the, you know, in, in the world of fiction and stuff, but still, okay. Uh, so the talented Mr. Bark. Hmm. Okay, so we're right here. Who is Maud Dixon? Hmm. Well, oh. let's see. Oh, ships within one to two months? That's insane to me. I don't, like, why would it, it just released? Why would it take that long to get anywhere? Florence Darrow is a low level publishing employee who believes that she's destined to be a famous writer. When she stumbles on a job to assist a famous novelist, uh, she thinks that she's got a big chance. Oh, but when Florence wakes up in the hospital after a terrible car accident with no memory of the previous night and no sign of Helen, who I guess is Maud's like true name, she's tempted to take a shortcut <clears throat> and starting of, instead of hiding in Helen's shadow, why not upgrade into Helen's life? That sounds like a lot of fun. I like the idea of that. I hate the idea of waiting two months. So I'm not, I'm not gonna, I was going to add that to my cart, but I could never wait that long. I have no patience whatsoever. Okay, so we're sticking into what's new this week. Okay, what's mine and yours? What's this? It's a familiar cover, but I feel like a lot of covers look like this right now. Okay, what's mine and yours? A sweeping novel of legacy, identity, the American family, and ways that race affects even our most intimate relationship. Uh, a community in North Carolina is in outrage after students from the largely black east side of town are brought into um, a predominantly white high school. Isn't that, why, why would they be upset about that? The integration sets off a chain of events that will tie their two families together. I, I I feel like, is this written in the present day? Because wouldn't that be, I don't know, racism, people are insane. I don't know if that really is super exciting to me if I'm being honest, I'm gonna keep looking. Okay, what else is in New Girl and Little Cove? No, we've already seen that. Oh man, okay, so that's it. There are still some interesting ones. I'm going to look in my cart and see what I've got and then choose which book I want to read. So in the quick, that is super interesting. And then Clara and the Sun. But you know what? I think I'm going to go with Clara and the Sun. I haven't read a Kazuo Ishiguro in a long time. And this just sounds very interesting. It's one of the books that I've been so excited to come out this year and this cover. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to buy Clara and the Sun. Let me know in the comments below what you guys would have chosen. If you were in my place and you were shopping for new releases, what would you have chosen? I would love to know. And I will talk with you guys soon. Bye. All right, with 15,000 subscribers just around the corner, this is your chance to win a $150 Amazon gift card. I, it's in Canadian because I am Canadian. And I hope that one of you will be able to buy all sorts of lovely books from your wish list with it. Now, in order to win, you need to first be subscribed to this channel like this video and also leave a comment in the comments below. After we hit 15,000 subscribers, I am going to uh, pick a random video, randomize the comments and pick a winner. So the more videos you watch, the more comments you leave, 
the more chances that you are going to have to win. Good luck to all of my bookish friends out there.